this is Jeff Perkler. I'm a solution consultant here at CAD Talk. Today I'll be demonstrating the CAD Talk ERP integration with N4 Cloud Suite and Autodesk Inventor and Item and Vault. So CAD Talk has a pre-built integration with both Autodesk Inventor and Vault and Vault Professional and Standard, as well as N4 Cloud Suite Industrial, uh, being able to translate the data in the engineering systems, Autodesk Vault, uh, into what uh, Infor Cloud Suite needs in terms of items and building material, current operations, current materials, uh, and be able to translate uh, engineering, uh, engineering intent into manufacturing execution. So today's purpose is to show how CAD Talk uh, integrates with the Autodesk products, namely Vault, Vault Standard, Vault Professional, and Vault Item Master, as well as Inventor. So as you notice, CAD Talk has its own standalone host that has all, all those options available through our add-ins. I am currently connected to my Vault system. I'm also connected to my N4 Cloud Suite. And today I'll be showing how CAD Talk can take that data from Vault and Inventor and translate it into N4 Cloud Suite. So now I'm going to start. The first thing I do is uh, I, I'm already logged in. And then I'm going to come to Vault and I'm going to search my Vault for a potential item to load. So I'm just going to do a quick search of all the items in my vault. I'm going to find one. I'm going to select this sh uh, shock absorber, select open. Then what CAD Talk will do is it will process all of that data out of vault. So it'll extract all the vault data. So if it's standard vault, it'll extract all that metadata there. If it's vault professional with item master, it will select all the item master level data. Uh, extract that metadata about the parts, the part numbers, descriptions, quantities, then it will run it through CAD Talk's sophisticated rules engine and then turn that into what N4 Cloud Suite needs from a manufacturing process. So you'll notice here, you can already see in our CAD view where CAD Talk's extracting the, the thumbnails as well as all the other metadata. And then it has that live connection with N4 Cloud Suite see if, if these parts are brand new, they're existing, have they been modified, uh, and all of that information. You will also see on the right, I have, I'm have i tracking all the different data elements that we're updating. So once it's finished processing, you'll be able to see in this interface a proposed bill of material. So CAD Talk is a third, it's not a third system. It is not another database. It doesn't say it doesn't save any data to a database. It ha in this interface, it is a middleware. It does the translation and then shows what a bill of material will look like in N4 Cloud Suite once you save. Now everything in CAD Talk is color coded on a traffic light color coding, red, yellow, green. So the red icons, as you can see here, are all new parts we'll be creating in N4 Cloud Suite. And then all the yellow highlighting here is where we're going to write data. This is a multi-level bill of material, fully indented with many levels, as you can see here. So CAD Talk is able to take the data coming out of Vault and then turn it into this uh, items, bills of material, and current operations. It's able to automatically add operations, automatically route the parts to the shop floor by uh, adding any operations that are needed, including assembly or even cut or weld or, or material prep, anything that's necessary in terms of the routing steps. It can, CAD Talk can, can uh, read that data out of Inventor and using our rules engine, turn, figure out what that part needs in, the, in order to route it through the shop. Now, if you notice here, CAD Talk supports all the major metadata in in for Cloud Suite, as so every field, including any custom fields or user-defined fields that a customer may have, CatTalk automatically connects to them, and it can write to any place in those fields. So, and uh, that that includes things like so, uh, vendors or suppliers, and and all the other necessary data in in for Cloud Suite. It even goes for operations. So, if you want to be able to update. Uh, routing data or you know run times or setup time all of that's accessible in CAD talk you can just simply turn it on here setup time uh, run uh, setup rule uh, run time any any information you want can be all accessible in here and you can write to any of this information directly from the CAD talk interface now as you'll notice here red icons these are all brand new parts we're going to create new parts and assemblies new items and and uh, Builds a material directly from CAD Talk and that directly from the integration with Autodesk Inventor. Uh, we're going to set the, create the part, set the description, 
upload a thumbnail, if we had any notes or any other metadata, we're going to create all the parts uh, of this integration that are necessary. And once we're finished, uh, we can simply hit that save button, and that will do all the work in Info Cloud Suite with ever needing to ha for anyone, an engineer or whoever uses this uh, integration, to have to go into Info Cloud Suite and do any kind of manual effort. So what I'll do here is I'll hit that save button. Then what CAD Talk will do is it goes through and all, at every level of the bill of material, it'll do the create, so it'll create all new items. So every part you see here, all, every level down, will create the new the new records in uh, in for Cloud Suite, the new items. It'll create the bills of material. It'll add the materials to the bill. Of, it'll add the materials to the bill. It'll create the operations. If there's any runtime or setup data, it'll create all of those as well. And then. Uh, it will have a live connection directly in M4 Cloud Suite so that when it's finished, we'll be able to see how that works. So now you can see I can I'll upload the thumbnails as, as well. Now, once it refreshes, what you can see happening right now live in your screen, uh, it goes from red to green. Now, that's my signal, my traffic signal that this is now existing in M4 Cloud Suite. Right? So now that I see that in green, I can simply come over here select this particular part, go back to N4 Cloud Suite, and then uh, go to the engineering board and see what that looks like. So I come up in here uh, and I can open, I can open the engineering workbench. Right. I can open the engineering workbench and this is typically where you would manually go to make any ed any edits or if you were going to enter everything manually in in for cloud suite you would need to work in here in order to to make that happen so but what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply select this item and then filter on it and then what you'll see is is cad talk not only created that top level item but it also cr added the operation and then added all the materials in directly right on here so and it works fully indented. So one of the nice things about CAD Talk is it can go from a fully indented bill in Autodesk Inventor and turn that into a fully invented, indented bill into N4 Cloud Suite. And for Cloud Suite, you have to do all of that work uh, at each level one at a time. So CAD Talk really speeds up that engineering to manufacturing handoff. Our, uh, our customers tell us that they would much rather do all the work in CAD Talk than ever go into N4 Cloud Suite and have to manage this data uh, manually. And it really streamlines that process. We, what our customers tell us is that it's five times faster than anything they can do manually with, with uh, five times fewer errors. Now, going back to CAD Talk, uh, we'll, we'll be able to look at some of the other features. So notice, if I mentioned, CAD Talk tracks all the changes. So if I ever have an engineering change, and I make a change to a description or any other change that uh, to the bill of material in, in Autodesk Inventor. CATOC will track those changes, mark that icon as yellow, show, show those changes in the right changes pane, and be able to give you everything that you need f uh, in terms of making the best decision for the updates. So you know at a field-by-field -field level what parts are new, what parts, what metadata has changed, so that you have the best decision making that you need and have the confidence that when you save into N4 Cloud Suite, you have 100% accuracy uh, and 8% and less time. So now let me, let me show what that looks like. Uh, you just see what it looks like in Autodesk Vault. So let's take a look at what that looks like in Inventor. So if you did not, uh, if you did not have Autodesk Vault or you did not have Autodesk uh, Vault Professional or Standard, you can also load directly from Autodesk Inventor. So I'm going to do that now. Just select my Autodesk Inventor button. Then I'm going to come down and go to my Inventor file. Select this. I'm going to select this turbine here, and then select the assembly. Same process. CAD Talk is going to process all the metadata, all the I properties, all that information that we our engineers put into that model. They check it into the vault. We're going to extract all that information and then translate that into M4 Cloud Suite's manufacturing bill check to see if the parts exist already. If they do, we'll retrieve that information and make any updates. If they're brand new, uh, we'll mark them as brand new, like you see here in red. We'll set the descriptions and any other master data, like whether a part's manufactured or purchased. We'll be able to figure that out, depend uh, dependent upon the engineering data. Really, 
accelerate that process so that you don't have to manually type keys one by one by one. So now notice here I can expand it. You see, I got a fully indented bill of material and I have all the information that I need here. And again, as I mentioned, I could come in here and I can add run labor hours or setup hours, any of that, make all of that visible, uh, easy with a quick few clicks. And then at any point when I'm ready to save, I just hit that save button and then CAD Talk will update in for Cloud Suite uh, in the background. So as I mentioned in the last time, just as you saw with Vault, CAD Talk ERP uh, will cre create the inventor parts in, in for Cloud Suite at every level. Uh, it will update them with all the, with all the uh, metadata, all the part master file information, and then set the routings, set the runtime, set the setup times, and then refresh green. Uh, and that'll be, it means that it's already in N4 Cloud Suite Industrial. So now you can release it to the shop floor once it turns green and you may begin manufacturing. There is no wait time in terms of how to, how to get it, uh, having to wait to get it into N4 Cloud Suite uh, before you can execute. So CAD Talk can get it in there in a matter of, a matter of really seconds. And now you see it's green. Now it's released to me. Now it's it's in N4 Cloud Suite, and you can then from there create that job order, be able to do any of those things that you need. Now, what? Are, how does CAD Talk know how to do that? It seems like magic. How does it know how to handle my bills of material? How to how to do all that? So the beauty is we blend the power of off-the-shelf integration with the power of a. Uh, the ability to customize the solution without needing to do costly uh, customizations. CatTalk has built powerful configurability right into the, the product. So what this allows us to do is we can we can easily connect to your vault, easily connect to Infor Cloud Suite, but we were able to create this rules engine that is tailored to fit your needs that allows us to define how the data that the data flows happen between each product. So notice I can write rules that it's much more than just simple data mapping. You can write sophisticated rules about how do you want the data to flow from Autodesk Inventor and Vault into N4 Cloud Suite. So yes, field by field mappings, but even things like, you know, adding routings. So I can make simple rules that say, you know, if the part coming from Inventor, if the item coming from Inventor is a, uh, it's an assembly, is an Inventor assembly, you can see here, if it's an event or assembly, I can simply add an assembly operation. This gives you the ability to use data that's already existing in the model. There's no operation data in the model, but based upon how the model is structured, whether uh, it's a flat pattern part or whether a certain material type is in there, we can then make decisions about what the routing steps would need to be to go directly into N4 Cloud Suite. So really, not just getting the part and item data in there, it's also really about automating a lot of the work that you would have to do from someone who does like a manufacturing engineer or that or any of that kind of setup in that system. Uh, and so it, it takes that whole process from end to end, from engineering all the way to the shop floor. We're not just looking at you know, a quick sync uh, and then more work in M4 Classroom. We're looking at the whole automation from end to end. And so what's nice is that you're able to manage these rules uh, right inside the CAD Talk uh, platform. So no more customizations, no need to come back to CAD Talk for additional work. Uh, no, no, uh, no need to be dependent upon a vendor to, to update your system. CAD Talk uh, allows you to configure it to fit your, fit your business rules, and then you can change those as needed. Now, of course, during implementation, CAD Talk is there. We have a robust process uh, whereby we help you develop those rules. We test them uh, and we distribute them to you. You can test them in order to, to refine that process to get those exact rules to fit your business needs to automate that process. Okay, so just to sum up, uh, just kind of reviewing what we saw today, CAD Talk uh, ERP has that pre-built integration between Autodesk Inventor, Autodesk Vault Professional, Autodesk Vault Standard, and N4 Cloud Suite Industrial. That is to the items and the current operations, current materials. That's sort of the bill of material aspects of N4 Cloud Suite. We are, CAD Talk is, is, has a powerful rules engine that takes the power of a custom tool 
and puts it right into a configurable product that has pre-built integrations. And so <laughs> you get the best of both worlds in terms of flexibility, but also uh, easy implementation because of that pre-built nature of the integration. No um, you know, months or year-long uh, processes to figure out how to integrate. You know, we can get catch all connected in a matter of hours and get basic data flowing within the first three to four hours. So really be able to speed up that time to value so you can start using CAD Talk and get that value of that integration product. Thank you for uh, attending today's demonstration of the CAD Talk ERP integration between Autodesk Inventor, Autodesk Vault uh, Standard and Vault Professional and M4 Cloud Suite. Again, my name is Jeff Brickler. Uh, feel free to contact us here at CAD Talk, https dot, uh, colon slash slash cadtalk.com. You can email me, jeff.brickler at cadtalk.com. Happy to be able to assist. Thank you very much. Goodbye.